I on this video I will try explain and uh, I will try to show you how to build your own VMware environment VMware lab from scratch so basically um, for this operation for this lab we will need to VMware workstation it's not for free I know it's, it's expensive but uh, the VM will give you possibility to use the free trial so I think it's worth to try it it's uh, always extra uh, extra platform to learn some new stuff uh, before we start installing SXI host uh, you need to go for to edit virtual network editor and then you need to set up some uh, some settings first of all VMnet uh, 0 the best option if you bridge with your physical adapter then we create VMnet 1 that will be for the storage VMnet 2 that will be for your vMotion and 3 and 4 that will be for uh, virtual uh, machines network so basically you need to create 0 1 2 3 and 4 I'll be show you how to how to create a one more just to just to <coughs> show you how to do it okay so I create the add new network then we set up the host only connect that will be private network there will be no uh, collision with the any frames from the bridge from the uh, our uh, network yeah and take the use DHCP and then here you just set up all these networks yeah that for the training I show you how to deal with the 10.5.5.0 and then click OK as you can see the network physical network is is attached one two three four and five okay so this number five that will done just for the just for the training so I will remove this one yeah but you can just create one two three and four okay so all these networks will be needed later on for I don't know for storage for the for the VMs uh, for the vMotion and uh, to separate all the traffic okay now we will install a SXA host so uh, I create the new folder with call new lab then right click of mouse uh, create the new virtual machine go for next uh, when you got uh, ISO image to to set up you need to find when well first of all you need to download your your ISO from the VMware is for free uh, for 60 days mm, don't worry uh, you can always uh, you can always renew renewal for another six day or reinstall. It's pretty simple uh, and it's for free. Go for open next. That is your name of your machine. Uh, I set up 103 because the 103 it will be my last octave of the um, IP address management IP addresses. Uh, location up to you. Is, uh, if you have a big storage you can set up different uh, different location uh, I use the C drive uh, it's not really recommended I've got uh, pretty fast the C drive because this is SSD and uh, so I use this one set up 100 gigs uh, just because I will create uh, install the vCenter later on, on a local drive before we attach any any LANs uh, before we create any data stores. 
Okay, so hardware will be done later and go for finish. Now in the SXI start booting. So I will pause the video and come back uh, in a second when the installer start prompt up some questions. Okay, so prompt come up. Now we press enter. We need to accept the EULA pressing the F11. We'll be scanning, uh, looking for some drives to install the uh, SXI operation system. And okay, so that shows up our 100 gigs local drive. Uh, go for enter, root password. Make sure remember this password that we'll need it for later on if you would like to <laughs> log into the SXI host and then press 11. Now on that will be take a couple of minutes before uh, we will able to log into this SXI host. I will pause the video now. Okay, so SX are installed successfully. So we can remove the installation media uh, before rebooting and go for enter. Okay, so ASXI host uh, is booting now. We go for F2. Provide your root password. And as you can see, mm. we need to set up some configuration. The network adapter is set up for VM NIC0. Uh, that's our management network. And IP. IP version 4, we need to change. Yeah, 103. That's my last octet. Gateway of my router 0 and 1. Okay. IP version 6, I disable. Zero one hundred five. that's my existing DC domain controller. This is powered off for now. Mm, later on, uh, I will switch on and we can start using it. The DNS hostname as uh, 603 and suffix VMLab local. That's the uh, suffix from my domain, which is already existing. Okay, so I think that's it. We can reboot host. Okay, so I'll be wait till host is rebooted, then we can log in and check and maybe quick overview what's we done. Okay, so SXI host has come up now. As you can see, our settings are as correct. The name and the uh, IP address. Uh, we can try logging in. Ah, okay. Uh, so it's still not able to log in. I think I know what the problem is. Let me check. Uh, before restarting, we create some uh, network. And for example, this specific uh, network should be assigned to VMNIC net zero. And also, what we can do right now. Is add all the networks. We add. We need to ten networks. This all the networks will be related with the storage and the emotion, and also 
uh, virtual machines uh, traffic seven Ten. Okay. Okay, now we press OK. And now when we go to settings, we got ten networks. So number one and two will be assigned to Nick VMnet Zero. Three and four VM net one that will be our storage. Okay, I will pause the video again, uh, finish configure all, and come back in a minute. Okay, so as you can see, the all VM net. Network adapter are assigned with the uh, specific VM nets. Press OK, and now we should be able to reach yes. So uh, of course that potential because it's the HTTP. That's the power where we go for root. I don't have to. Okay, so now we are connected to our host, so we are good to go. Mm, we don't have a virtual machine on, on the board yet. Uh, storage is just, uh, is just uh, the local ones. So as uh, I think the good practice is just rename it because if you have a uh, I don't know 10 15 more hosts uh, when you start installing the, the always uh, the name will be the data store one so if you would like to keep it nice and clean the best option is just rename it right away when you start installing the different hosts uh, as you can see the networking you've got the VM network as the default one and management network that uh, all the connected with the virtual switch zero. Uh, what else? Uh, that's the, our VR, VR switch. Uh, you see, it's not. We've got just one link. Later on, we will just create a VM NIC one. We will be added to this VM network. Uh, we will create also more switches related with the storage with the vMotion. So uh, that still need to be configured later. Uh, from the storage, uh, I think maybe not in the next lesson, but on the maybe third or lesson, we will create the uh, storage server with the iSCSI targets, uh, and maybe we also I show you two options uh, how to connect the storage. So we will using iSCSI and also NFS uh, to attaching the LANs. Mm, what else? Manage. On the hardware, you can see what kind of the hardware. We've got uh, licensing, security, that's the related with the um, uh, certificates, etc. Okay, so I think that's it. Uh, I'll be going for more details in the next lessons. So I hope that will was helpful for you. Keep in touch uh, and uh, start building the mm, environment with me. See you later.